What's up friends, Chuck here, and welcome back to KOTOR 2. Alright, we are on the hunt to make a lightsaber. Uh, so Brojack said come and talk to him uh, when we have parts and stuff. So let's go talk to him now. Or the remote, as it turns out. I've been a long time since the war, surprise still functioning, could you stop flying around? Never mind. Um, it's been a long time since the war. Could you stop flying around? No, he's fine. He's, he's just doing his thing. Um, he said to come and talk to him when, he, when we have parts. So General, let's have a chat. Need something. And see what parts we need. Um, just wanted to talk to you. Yes, General. Um, do you have any shield I could use? Sure do, General. I've made a few while I wasn't working on the ship. Here you go. Just remember. The best shield is not getting shot at all. <laughs> Something else yeah. I can help you with? Lightsaber! <laughs> uh... Never mind. We, we, we got a shield from him, so that, that's something. Um, let's go to the workbench. And let's see if we can create a lightsaber. Which we can't. Let's actually... Crafting lightsaber, here we go. You've found a lightsaber energy cell fixture. Perhaps with some additional parts, you'll be able to construct a new lightsaber. That's great. Where are the other parts, though? Um, so he said that he would help us with the parts that we need in this stuff. Um, however, he didn't really tell us anything about them. So we'll just have a quick chat to people, see if anything's changed. Um, can you upgrade an item for me? I need a pro. Oh, yeah, free programming spikes. I'll uh, put this to good use. Could you make me any more? Could you make me any more? Can you make me any more? <laughs> uh, something else I needed. Can you upgrade an item? All right, we don't really need to upgrade any of this. Man, we got computer spikes out the ass. That's good. Okay, this should be handmaiden woman. Yes. Uh, do we really? Uh, I mean, may as well. May as well have a chance. Yes. Uh, can you teach me some fighting moves? No. Can I ask you some questions? Well, well, let's see. If we can get some new moves for free, why not? We'll, we'll just, like, pretend that we don't know what's going on. Training is something reserved for certain cast members of the Achani. But I do not see the harm in instructing you in some basic principles. I do not understand how you and Atris fight, but I will instruct you on how Achani children are raised on warfare. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, uh, was that a stab at me? All Ichani fighting principles rely on foundations. If one does not understand the most basic of fighting moves, it is not possible to understand the higher tiers. It is similar to learning the alphabet of a language before being able to use words, then sentences. I understand. Uh, can we dispense with the lecture and get on with this? Yes, that one. You are correct. Words are merely words, and they failed to communicate what I intend to teach you. As a foundation, I will instruct you in our elementary movements. The body itself is the first weapon you must master. It is not something that can be described. Let us duel, you and I, and that shall teach you more than my words can. All right. Use only your hands and feet to strike at me, nothing else, or our combat shall be over. Do not resort to using any items or any force techniques you may possess. Such things will obstruct learning. Um... Prepare yourself then. <laughs> hope you're ready to hit the floor. Yeah, hope you're ready to hit the floor. Very well. I shall match my movements to resist your efforts. And do not hold back, or I will hurt you. Alright. Oh, she's naked! We're gonna punch her. We're gonna punch her real good. Alright, one more hit. Maybe. Maybe two. Nope, it was just the one. You fought well indeed. Yeah. You have caught the principles of the style by watching and anticipating my movements. Not really, I just pressed one a lot of times. A favor? Alright, what do you want? The weapon the Jedi use, the Force, I would like to know more about it. <laughs> She's just standing there in her underwear. Uh, what do you want to know? It is not something you can see or fight, yet the Jedi use it and struggle with it their entire lives. Is a difficult thing to describe. Uh, yeah. Please, I wish to know. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, it is so many things that you know when you feel it without question. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. Good. Uh, I'll be going now. Well, we didn't get light side points, so that's fine. I mean, I don't mind making friends. <laughs> if they uh, agree to us being a jerk. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. You're a cranky, cranky woman. Um, There's only as many as I need and only as many as will sacrifice themselves to me. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Um, I deserve such a obedience from them and you. You deserve nothing, <laughs> but you have earned such obedience, yes. They are tools, you are right. More than you know. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. Um, does the fact they obey me upset you? I know many things. And I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? Uh, is something happening to them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. All right. You have a point? I will reflect on this. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Um, never mind, I'll be going. Okay, yet again, we're naked. I mean, putting the clothing on does absolutely nothing, but you don't want to be naked, right? Uh, we can go to our droid and give him some more parts. This looks like remains of a HK unit. Okay, repair, initialize the control cluster. Success, you, you have in, uh, installed the droid's control cluster. Step away. Okay, so there's still some more parts that we need. I guess the only other place, exit ramp, cockpit, communications. I mean, if we go to the exit ramp, we're, we're in space, so we can't leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll go to um, the cockpit and talk to Puppeteer, right? It makes sense. Quickly duck into communications and see if there's anything in here that we need. Uh, security system, droid. What is this? Cameras? You know what? It's fine. We don't need to see that. All right, puppeteer. Quick save. What you got for us? Look, I didn't want to say anything, but you forced my hand. <laughs> I've forced heard about the force and what it, it does to people who can't control it or themselves. And it shows in everything you do, and in your face. Fucking your face. Um, if you fear the face of power, then I have no use for you. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is that there's a reason you're changing. That power is corrupting you. I can't help but feel it. All of us can. At least look at Whatever me, that witch is doing to you, she's dragging you down into whatever hole she crawled out of. She has no influence over me. She's a creature. No other way around it. She's my creature, sorry. Are you implying I cannot control her? Let's play Bazaar. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go. She has no influence over me. She is my creature. Well, you're starting to get creases. You could pass for the old witch's son. Well, fuck you. All right, let us move on. So this is Paragus. This is the Lost Citadel. This is us. This is Onderon, Nar, Shadar, Korriban, and Dantooine. So these are the four uh, places with 
um, those Jedi Masters that we saw before. So, Onderon is, temp uh, is uh, a forest, sorry. Nashida is decaying urban zones, so this is like a night nightclub kind of place. Um, Korriban is, yeah, is a hot volcano-y type place. And Dantuin is grasslands. So, let's go to, doesn't really matter, uh, let's go to Onderon. Why not? See if we can get some Wookiees. Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin. Patching it through. The Ebon I was told to expect your arrival. No. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. Oh shit! We're gonna have to shoot these guys down. Maybe. Alright, Puppeteer, get us out of here. So We've taken we, some hits. Either we have we can to try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. Okay, either we fight them off and this is just a thing, or we're not meant to be here yet and it's a way of telling us to go to a different, uh, one. Oh man, the turret. Why not? Let's shoot some people. Wait, where are they? I, I think I shot one? one oh. Yes, I got one. Okay, this is, uh... <laughs> this is not the best. Uh... It's also really hard to know what... You meant to be shooting. Okay. Where's the next one? Can't see anything. There's one right there. Any more? Looking at the map, it's around here somewhere. Above us, maybe? Where is it? There it is. Lead the target. Done it. I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna put us down on that jungle moon. So it was completely pointless. Yeah. Freaking puppeteer. My God. Use him as a human toilet brush. <clears throat> Sweet would it be if our moon was like this. <laughs> Just like another Earth. It'd be freaking awesome. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. How badly is the ship damaged? It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Um... Where did we land? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Alright, let's get our shovel. Let's get our shovel. We need to get uh, enough of this. How soon can we leave? Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. 
there may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. <laughs> She's like, there's heaps of shit buried here, don't dig it up. But, let's go dig up all the shit. Running around the jungle isn't a good idea, we should stay with the ship. Let's head to the outpost. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Alright. Well, um, even though we wouldn't take Puppeteer anyway, uh, we'll leave him here to, like, repair the ship, right? So, we'll take... Oh, we can't even. <laughs> nice. We'll take Kreia, obviously. And... Maybe I'll take the droid, man. Like, I like Brojack. And the handmaiden is melee and like unarmed stuff. So we want we want someone to shoot. So let, let's take let's take the droid. We haven't used him yet either. So are you sure this is the party configuration? Yes. We can always come back and change it, I think. We need to upgrade the droid like a son of a bitch too. Alright, let's do just that. Level up. Droid upgrade, class two. Skills. Recommended. Good. Accept. Level up. Attributes. Recommended. What does Dex do? Ranged. Okay, yeah, nice. Skills. Recommended. Accept. Computer use. Makes sense. Repair. Security. All that makes perfect sense. Feats. Here we go. Improved caution. Uh... But demolitions and stealth. Do we? You must. Leave. What? Why do you want demolitions and stealth? I don't know about that. Can we just get this? What is this? Gearhead. Oh shit! Yeah, get that. It's way better. <clears throat> oh, you got two in demolitions and zero in stealth. Why would you? That's just so dumb. All right, he's all caught up, which is good. Uh, let us quickly go through and make sure everyone's wearing adequate stuff, right? So we've got a shield there, we've got a shield there, we've got this thing, we've got clothing because we can't use anything else, otherwise we can't use force. Um, and for some reason, we do not have... We can't use... The, the, the handmaiden's dildo. Uh, where is our axe and sword? Radiant blade. We're going to give that a go. Alright, droid. There's probably a butt ton of upgrades we can do. What does this do? Computer use and security plus three each. Uh, repair plus four. Well, we'll do this because it gives us six, six stats instead of just four. Nothing. This one. Regenerate vitality points. Three. Or repair plus four. Um... I mean, keeping him just healed, it's not bad, actually. All right, we've got the flamethrower and a droid shock arm. Sure. Unlimited. What, what else can we do? Ion striker, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Oh, we'll keep, we'll keep the unlimited one for the moment. Give him some better armor. Okay, this has... What is this? A deflector mark one. Are these all 10 out of 10s? Yes, they are. 200 seconds. Okay, just give him that. Who cares? All right, now as far as blasters go, um, there's probably a few upgrades. All right. Um, one to seven, one to seven, one to eight, one to four, four to seven. Okay, four to seven's good. The dildo. 
Uh, I think fucking Puppeteer's got the good guns. We'll go one to eight. And then we'll put a... No. That'll do you. Alright. I think we're good. And just making sure she's got stuff equipped. Yes. Okay. Let's go. It should, um, let you... Like, it should just put everyone in of your teammates, um, gear. Like, it should unequip them. So you can change the gear around. And then just re-equip them. Like, like a preset type thing. That would be smart, but apparently not. Um, but it's fine. So, Korea won't be able to heal the droid. Um, but he's got that self-regeneration thing, so... We should be alright. And he's also got... Nope. Aggressive, grenadier, stationary, ranged, ranged. Wait, did that just go back to aggressive? It did. Oh, I hate this. Why? Why? Carson's using the range behavior. You will attack any enemies they see, but will remain within 10 meters of the character you are controlling. They will use ranged weapons, but if attacked in melee, will switch to melee weapons until they are no longer threatened. Sure. So it basically just follows me around and shoots anything. Alright, nice. Let's get started. Killing some Canox. Oh yeah, it's a big hit. Okay. Is the droid actually doing anything? No, he's just chilling out, which is fine. Took something, didn't read what it was. I have a good habit of doing that. By good habit, it's a bad habit. But it would have just been, like, credits or meat or some shit. Alright, there's some form of saber cat. Uh, Mala... Mal... Russ. <laughs> a Mal Russ. Uh, I mean, we can force lightning this because it'll hit everything. Well, this. Oh, not everything, but... It's a few. And I'm they're just scared. Okay, the Mulrus is dead. I think there's an, there's some more Mulrus up ahead, uh, but that's fine. Uh, wait, there was someone we could attack. Oh, it's Canok. Remains. Remains. Adrenaline strength. More remains. Medpack. Good. That's good. Adrenaline Stimulator. Alright, so if we have a look at the map, that leads back to this way and it all seems to come converge here. So let's go this way. So it was just like one of the two options of which way we could go up to this area. And we'll exhaust both of these options. Just to make sure that we haven't missed anything. Because there are some Canox here. Alright, maybe we'll get the old Force Lightning so I can hit multiple people at once. No, nope. he was already dead by the time I did that. Alright, easy mode. I, I enjoy having the droid already. Um, just for, for the ranged and like he doesn't talk and say annoying shit. So. Although he doesn't get the buffs from Kraya, so as soon as we can get maybe a humanoid that can shoot that's not puppeteer um because i think brojack is melee based right i'm pretty sure all these feats and stuff are melee i mean we can change that we can teach him different stuff but i've got some news the space battle is still going on oh well, he's puppeteering just picked up a contact heading to the moon most of the ship's systems are powered down so it's about all i got that ship may have landed nearby though or it may be on the other side of the moon so you might want to prepare for another friendly under on welcome all right thanks buddy Okay, so there's a Four. droid here. Okay, it 
remote droid. She is just going for it. Holy crap, this remote droid has been eaten away by the jungle. Even if it was repaired, you would need to access the computer that controls the kind of Leave it alone. Okay. Good to know. Is she still on Jedi support? Yes. Yeah, she is. Okay, good. So let's just go back and double check this droid. That we can't do anything. No, we can't do anything. Even if we do it with, like, uh, talk to it as a droid? No, we can't do shit. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, there is a little bit of map here that we haven't gone down. Let's quickly check that. Yeah, there is stuff here. Nice. Okay. There's a Malras. Very nice. And another Malras. We'll shock this one. Okay, we have leveled up, which is nice. Okay, no remains. Let's level up. Man, we're getting... <sighs> Force jump. Holy shit, I think it's happened. I think now we can just like jump into battle. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, recommended. Strength. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Skills. Okay, just gonna put more into treat injury. No, let's go with uh, computer use and repair. Yeah, yeah, do that. Powers, contention. Mm, okay, so another lightsaber form doesn't help us too much because we don't have a lightsaber. Uh, we can get kill. This range power causes the target to choke, and so it's just the stronger thing of, of what we already have. So why not? Get that and okay. And hang on. Oh, well, we've already done it, haven't we? I was gonna say, no, let's let's see what it recommends. Yeah, stupid energy resistance. I hate it. I hate its face. Okay, done. Accept. Good. So we don't let, let's quickly read up what this force jump thing is about, right? And how to do it. Powers. Not there. Feet? They'd be in here. This. Requires lightsaber. The Jedi, uh, so let's just look at the first one. If diplomacy fails, combat must be swift and decisive. When an opponent is at range and targeted with a standard lightsaber melee attack, this, the guard needs to quickly jump to the. Yeah, so this is what I've been wanting the whole time. Um, turns out you can only do it with lightsabers. Uh, but it's freaking handy because you just jump on them and it's great. Oh, wow. Parts, components, components, parts, components. <laughs> Why would they? Okay. Why well, wouldn't you just write parts times two, components times three? But, but sure. All right. Blaster rifle and a data pad. Revan says we must take Duxon. Duxon? Our wing of military uh, droid carriers are to fly in low and drop our payload onto the jungle moon. Once the droids hit dirt side, they'll seek out the Mandalorian base and pave the way for our ground troops. And the Jedi, and the Jedi, sorry, uh, we're expecting heavy resistance, and if the droids can't take out the anti-air turrets, this is going to be one short mission. But we cannot fail. If we do, the Republic is lost. Well, the Republic is lost. Parts, components, components, parts, components. <laughs> Rusted computer port. Uh, one repair part. How many parts? Oh, we got 14. Yes, I think we can do that. Access remote droids. Access droid. This is the one that we just come across, I think. Uh, overload the power reactor. Return to droid menu. Well, I mean, we don't really need to get... If they come alive and start attacking us, we'll just kill them. So there's no, no use using three spikes. At... Repair computer core. One spike. Hang on a sec. Let's log out. Let's see if we can get Droid to do this. It might be cheaper. 
No, it's not. Let's repair this anyway. Droids available. Primary function. Uh, overload power reactor. Return the droid menu. Yeah, okay, so it is cheaper. Yes. All right. What is it? That's fine. We won't use them. Skills. Powers. You got a lightsaber form as well. Recommended. Force barrier. Okay, can you do anything better? I mean, that's not too bad, I guess. It's it's kind of the same as this stupid energy resistance. Can she do that on other people or just herself? <laughs> um... You know what? She can have Force Lightning. Like, upgraded Force Lightning. Why not? And... Let us... Move on. Can I get... Do anything with this little nubbin in here? No. Nope. Okay, so now if we talk to it, reactivate the droid, one repair part. Let's see if we, leave it alone, let's see if we do it with droid, if it's going to be cheaper. No. Um. Activate droid shields. We don't need this thing at all. Yes. So we've just activated it, and now it just stands there and shoots anything that comes nearby that we've already killed. So, yeah. Kind of pointless, but it's fine. We had we had so many repair parts that it didn't really matter too much. Okay, here's another one. But again, we don't we don't really need the help. Alright, destroying it. No, no remains. There's the droid again. Skeletal corpse? What have we got? A detonated gloves. What are you about? Can't be better than what we're using, surely. Demolitions plus three. Although that does have immunity to stuff. Can we give to her? Does she, is she wearing anything? No, okay. You know, you know what? It's not as good as what we're wearing. So it's fine. Move on. Oh, come on, force jump. Give me a lightsaber. The orbital fighting just ended. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. It's fine, dude. I know. You're crushed. <laughs> he knows. He knows how much we hate him. What a guy. <laughs> he, just, he just won a few points, actually. All right, droid has leveled up. Okay, feats. Proved caution. Well, this is the one I wanted before. Um, Two weapon fighting fur further up on the two weapon fighting so that uh, he does more damage or you know what let's get him let's get him better with blaster pistols Stop. yes all right some durosses Like, 
12 episodes, 13 episodes into into um, this game, so like a good eight hours in and still no lightsaber. I'm, I'm getting a little dirty. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, there's no way I'm going to surrender to you. You're so dead, guy. You are so dead. Look, I have a power attack to the face. Okay, you're dead. Have some lining. Um. I only have attack. It's fine, I guess. And you can, like, force lightning at me. Good shit. I hear you. Try to heal. And some remains. Advanced med pack. Rhodian death blade. Okay, well, that's better than a Rhodian blade. Or whatever it is we're currently using. Surely. Uh, we are currently using a... Rhodian Blade. Rhodian Death Blade has to be better. Yes. I still don't know if it's not as, just as good as the Longsword. Because <laughs> uh, its dam damage is 1 to 12, right? But this has attribute damage, all this on-hit shit, so... On-hit stuff's pretty good in, in most games, so we'll, uh, we'll stick with it. No more remains. So let's go and look at our Plasteel Cylinder. And this little case if we can. Nope, just a plasteel cylinder. Med pack parts, adrenal stamina. Good, good, good. There's some mull vox or whatever the shit they were called. <clears throat> okay, let's get stuck on the ship. Oh my god. There we go. Nope, invisible wall. In that invisible wall. Holy crap. Okay, we're out. So we can go uh, north or south basically here. Well, kind of. East and west, really. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so this is the blue, the blue thing, though. So this is going to take us to a different area. So let's go to um, kill these mole rats first. Because I've forgotten what they're called. Was mole rat even close? You know what? It wasn't too bad. Malaraz. They're mole rats. This shall not stop us for long. It's already half dead, too. This. Just hit it. Hit it. It's, it's right there. Hit hit it in the face. Good job. Okay, wreckage. Credits. Anything else? Nope. That appears to be it. Okay. So now we'll go to uh, that other area. Let the ship escape. I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If Duxon. you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. All right. No. Yes. <laughs> We've got to do our better moves. We can't. We can't skip on on shitty moves. Okay. Remains. Arm apply plating mark two. Okay, so that'll be um to do with um crafting armor. Okay, there's some mole rats and some other things. So let's just go and destroy the mole rats to start with. Okay, mole rats have been destroyed. There's a ducks and cache. Stop. Cache door, that is sorry. not the skeletal remnant of a war long past. That is a recent kill. 
It appears that Duxon isn't as abandoned as we would be led to believe. Mm. How long since he died? A few days, a standard week at most. The jungle has not left its mark on his armor yet. You probably have more questions, but let us press forward. You may find the answers you seek. Okay, can we take his ship? We can. Mandalorian Heavy Blaster, that's good. 10 credits and advanced med packs. Alright, so let's see if we can give our droid here uh, a Mandalorian Heavy Blaster and what it does. 2 to 11, it's pretty good. <laughs> Zelda's just walked in and is eating a water bottle, empty water bottle. She scares the crap out of me, man, because these are like noise cancelling headphones. And then on top of that, like, I got the sound of the game and everything, and all of a sudden you just hear something, and there's this little dog <laughs> destroying everything. Um, I know that's probably loud, but we're about to finish the episode, so just bear with me for a sec. Hey! She's just uh, eating one of my plastic bottles. All right, so that's an upgrade for him. Um, we will leave it here. What is it? With a quick save. And when we come back, we'll probably um, investigate, well, definitely investigate in here and uh, down here and, and basically just, just keep going, as always. Um, but yeah, the, the fact that we've been talking about the lightsaber for quite some time um, and the fact that when we get it, we get force jump and stuff. Man, I'm so excited. I just want it. Um, so hopefully it's soon. Either way, hope you're enjoying it. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.